Good morning. Full site editing is, in my opinion, the second most important change that's ever happened to WordPress. I'll tell you the most important change at the end of the video. Uh, it has massive implications for themes like Divi and for page builders like Elementor. So I want to give you a beginner's guide to full site editing so you come out the end with an understanding of how it's going to work. And I'm going to explain the most important concepts that full site editing uses and those are templates, template parts and global stars. So let's get into it. Right, basically the whole idea behind full site editing is that you're going to edit your entire site with Gutenberg blocks now, whereas in the past we've just been using Gutenberg for posts and pages. Now we're going to use it for the entire site, so the header, the footer, for everything. And that opens up a world of opportunities in terms of fingertip control to customize the design of everything. So here is an example uh, of a site that's using a full site editing theme and the top bit up here is the header. This is the navigation. This is the uh, page title, dynamically brought in, and uh, this is content. But I can design this any way I like. So if I want to change this or get rid of, uh, remove a page title for uh, my template, I can just remove it there. And when I reload this page, you'll see the page title is gone. But I don't have to stop there. For example, if this was a landing page and I didn't want to show the header at the top there, I could, if I wanted to, I could just delete the header, save it. Okay, and now on this page, when I go back and reload it, you'll see the header's gone. So hopefully that gives you an idea that we're actually editing the whole site, the header, the content, and the footer. We've got complete control for the first time in WordPress. Let's go on to a few of the key concepts behind this. Let's start. So the, a couple of things to say. The first is, if you want to have a play with this today, you're going to need a full site editing theme. There's a great one called Duva. I think I pronounced that right. You're also going to need the latest version of the Gutenberg plugin. Okay. So the first key concept I want to talk about is extra blocks. So site building blocks. So when you when you install the Gutenberg plugin and a full site editing theme, you will get some extra blocks that you can use to build your, your pages with. So let me just create a new page and I'll show you what those are. In fact, let's just go here and go edit page. And these are the blocks, the building blocks that you need to build your site with. And if I click on the plus sign here, let's have a look at them. If I scroll down in this one, you'll see them in theme. And these are all the blocks here that we're going to need to build our site with. These are extra blocks that you don't normally use when you're using Gutenberg. So we've got the query loop. That basically is like a very, very powerful latest post blue, um, block. We'll come on to that later on. Uh, post title, post content, post date. These are all dynamic blocks that will dynamically bring these things into uh, your templates. Post featured image, login, log out. Navigation, which is your menu. So your menus are now created uh, using blocks. Template parts, explain about those later. Post author, post comment, post comments, post links, post comments form. Term description, post list, header, previous and next. So you can sort of imagine these are all the kind of building blocks that you need to build your theme with. Right, so that's the first key concept that when you install a full site editing theme and the Gutenberg plugin, you get these extra blocks. The second big consideration is that you will lose your customizer. So you no longer use the customizer You'll see up here there's no customizer. That goes completely because basically we're now going to be editing everything within Gutenberg. So let's go on to the first key concept today, which is templates. Right, there are two ways to get to the site editor, the full site editor. If you're in your dashboard, like I am here, you'll see a brand new menu over here on the left that says site, site editor. If you're viewing your website, like I am here, you'll see a link in the admin toolbar to edit the site. So let's click onto that here. They both take you to the same place and that's going to open up the site editor. And now we're actually editing the design of the entire site. Here we go. And to access your templates, which is the first thing we want to look at, you click on the navigation thing up here. So the key concept to understand really is in terms of the, how this works, you have templates, which are things like your pages and your posts. You have one page template and one post template, your single post template. But within those, you also have template parts and your template parts might be like the header, okay, which you bring into those, into those templates. That's kind of the, the general way of thinking about this. But let's start at the top level, which is your templates. And that's what it's gonna show us here. So we, can you see down the left here, we've got our templates. So we've got single post, and this will load in the single post template. So this template will apply to all my posts. Now you can create different templates 
for different posts if you want to, but we're going to keep things simple today. So currently, this is what my individual posts will look like. This is just a template. And you'll see at the moment, there's no header on here because I've deleted it. So if I want to add a header, which is your navigation, in fact, let me just show you this. If I go to the site, so I can show you this real time and prove that I'm not cheating. Um, in fact, this is uh, not a post. Let's go to a post. Let's go to any of my posts. Uh, let's go to Hello World. That seems appropriate. And we'll see when this when this loads up. Can you see we don't have any navigation at the top here? We've just got the post title and some stuff. So if I jump back to my, to this one here, if I did want to add the header along here, which I've deleted, I can literally click on a block here and go header. Okay, and there's my header that it's going to add in. Now it's going to ask me to choose an existing header or I could create a different header just for this particular template, but I'm going to choose my existing header and that's going to bring that in. You'll see I've got a date block up here. So let's just pop that underneath and that's it. It's so cool. <laughs> and I'm going to go back to Hello World. Now remember, this is applying to all my posts, not just that particular post. Can you see how that header has now come in automatically? But that's the idea, right? So you've got these, you've got this template. This is a single post template, but you've also got other templates. So I've got a search template, how to display your search results. You've got your page, you've got your index, which is the template that's used if there's no other template applied to it. This is my page template at the moment, okay? I've just clicked on page. And so if I go to any of my pages, sample page, there we go. Can you see again, I've deleted my uh, header on my pages. So I could add that back in. And you'll also see that there's no page title. So let's say I wanted to add a page title. Uh, in fact, let's click on the plus sign here. I can just search in any of my um, blocks here. In fact, this is a post title. It's the same thing. I can chuck it wherever I want. I can just, because we're just using Gutenberg, you know, I can move these around. Let's use the move to full speed. I can just chuck that to the top of the page. And of course, because it's Gutenberg, I can now start to style it which is super cool. So if I want that aligned for whatever peculiar reason over to the right, I can do it. And now when I go back to my sample page and reload it, I'll have a peculiar title over here on the right. Okay. But I'm editing the page template. So all my ten, all my pages um, will follow this style. So it's amazingly powerful. You can start to think this is like having, you know, your own version of InDesign for WordPress. It's incredibly powerful. So that's templates. I want to quickly look at template parts, which kind of fill parts of your template. Right, let's have a quick look at template parts, which populate your templates if you want them to. You'll find template parts under templates here. This is the one we've got here. And in this theme, we've got two. We've got headers and footers. Let's go into headers and then click on header. That's going to load in that template part, which is basically my, the header, which is going to come into all my pages. And, but again, this is this is using Gutenberg to build it. So it's like having an incredibly powerful header builder now just built straight into WordPress. And you'll see here, all I've done here is use the columns block. And then within the left-hand column, I've got the site logo block, which is just a block now. And within the right-hand column, I've got the navigation block, which is again, just another block. I will dive into more detail on these blocks in another video, but for today, I just wanna get these key concepts across. And I've also got the social icons block. So I've added two little social icons, which again is just a Gutenberg block. Okay, but let's say for whatever reason I wanted to have the layout different, I can just swap them around. Or I can do anything in here because I'm now using Gutenberg basically to build the header. If I save that, that's going to save that. And wherever that's been used, so when I reload this now, it's switched all around. So it's kind of like mind-blowingly powerful, this stuff. So that's template parts. They populate your templates. Let's move on to look at global styles next. Right, the final key concept we're gonna look at today are global styles. Think of these a bit like a supercharged customizer. They are found by clicking on the three dots up here in the top right and then clicking on global styles. So these are styles that apply to your entire site things like typography and link color, all the normal stuff you'd see in the customizer, but they're also styles that apply to all your blocks. Let me show you this, this is this is really cool. So you can also, this is the root here, this tab here, you've got two tabs, root and by block type. The root are just kind of things like the text color and the background color of the site um, and stuff like that. Your, that's kind of your theme customizer stuff and you've got your color palettes here. 
but you've also got by block type. So you've got all your blocks here. This is so powerful. Uh, so if I go to into the button block, now I can actually style all the all, every time every occurrence of the button used throughout my site, I can actually create a style for it. So let's say I want the text color to be, um, let's go extreme, let's go blue text color and let's go pink. In fact, let's go white background and blue text color. And that now, every time I create a button on my site, what should happen, in fact, let's do this, just create a button to see how that works. It's gonna automatically apply those styles. So you're setting global styles here for all your blocks, which is just like, again, absolutely fantastic so let's add the button block and there we go there's my new style just automatically um, applied throughout my site so it's incredibly powerful that's global styles so there we go there's a beginner's look at um, full site editing I think as I said it's the second most important thing to happen to WordPress it's going to have huge implications when you start looking at this stuff you think well where does Divi fit in where does Elementor fit in if um, if this is the way WordPress is going. So that's for another video. I did mention at the start the most important thing that's ever happened to WordPress. For me, that's plugins. When plugins first got um, introduced into the concept of WordPress, that, that's when WordPress really exploded. So there we go. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, if you can give it a thumbs up, that'd be incredible. And if you want to see more Gutenberg videos, hit the subscribe button and I'll see you very soon.